Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today's video is I just wanted to kind of sit down and I was going to kind of try to do it a little more professionally and like categorize it and make it all nice but then I kind of just I filmed the video and then I went back and looked at the intro I originally had and I thought maybe I should just explain that this is kind of more casual and I just wanted to sh sit down and share ideas with you of things that are last minute ideas or things you need for family members or extended family members. Um, I kind of wrote everything down and I had everything kind of perfect but it didn't go that way at all. I just am not organized enough. I am very chaotic and I just wanted to share things that I really love for people that I love. So if you're interested in seeing kind of some of the stuff that I've gotten family members or ideas that I have, just keep watching. The very first thing I want to show you is for anybody that enjoys containers, who enjoys organization, or who just needs something like this in their life. These could be for anyone. Um, there's no specific person that wouldn't enjoy these and you don't necessarily have to be an organizer either. My sister and her husband just recently rented a little house for themselves they're still kind of newlyweds they've been married for about three years and they're still collecting i like to refer to them as broke college students because my sister's still in college and her husband's working he is a veteran he just retired from the military about a year and a half ago and they're sort of just getting their bearings about them so this christmas i kind of wanted to stock up their house for them and i found this for only 14.95 on amazon she did ask for containers specifically for her pantry and I thought this was really cute I only bought the one because you could do double because I don't think they have their house is kind of small so I thought one was enough for two people they could put cereal in this if she really wanted to put her dog food in it and be cute about it um you could put anything you really wanted in it as far as like this kind of stuff and I just thought this was really cute I think anybody would really really love this and it would look really aesthetically pleasing on your counter so I think it's marketed as like a cereal dispenser and if you have children this would be a lot a lot of fun they can go up in the morning and just crank their cereal out and i paid like 14.95 on amazon if i'm incorrect about prices i will put them up on the screen but i'm almost positive and i just think she's gonna be really really happy to receive that so i thought that was a great gift <clears throat> this was i found this I thought this was great priced. Um, these are very expensive containers, in my opinion, especially if you wanna buy like glass containers or something that looks really nice. They are extremely, extremely expensive. I was able to get these on Cyber Monday. I think I paid $27 for them, but I thought it was a great, great price. I think I even have seen these on Amazon as um, cheap as like $35. I will link them below. And they are the containers that you're able to write the little chalkboard signs on. The brand is Chef, Chef's Path. And you get 14 containers. You get a free spoon and you get the chalkboard labels. And I thought these would be really, really cute in her pantry. She does have a little walk-in pantry. And she can put cereal, pastas. Um, they eat rice. They eat all kinds of stuff. She's a vegetarian, so she could put rices in these, her dog food or cat food. Um, you could even use these for cosmetic things like cotton balls in your bathroom and I thought for 14 of these and they were all different sizes and they were kind of like um, shown stacked on top of each other on shelves. I thought that was a great price for only, like I said, I think I paid $27 and I thought this was really, really, I thought that was an amazing gift and I think she's going to be ecstatic over that. And her husband likes to cook. I also, for people who enjoy cooking, um, I saw online these things. And they were LED lights for outdoor grilling at night. I know her and her husband enjoy grilling, but unfortunately, um, you know, when it's dark it, at five o'clock, sometimes it will deter you from doing it. But they had little LED lights on the spatulas and all the things. And I thought that was a really great idea. And I believe you can get them right on Amazon. And then I was looking at smokers. I think that would be a great gift for like your dad or your grandpa um, who love grilling, the smokers. And I've seen some for not too expensive online and I will definitely link a couple below. And I just think it's a great, great investment. Um, I told my husband we're gonna be moving in the future here closer to his job. And I said, once we have like a bigger backyard, I really wanna get like, I do have a grill, but I would love to invest in like a smoker. There's just something about smoking your meats that just make it all 
that much better. So I thought those were some really good outdoors for the cook and your organizer. I thought those were great gifts for anybody who enjoys cooking or organizing. The next thing I wanna talk about is for anybody who has anybody who loves coloring or who is an artist in their life. My sister loves to draw and paint and do art. She has her whole Instagram full of it. And she really, every year I like to go in and buy her different art supplies. Um, the one thing I am gonna show you was a little pricey. It was $100 on Amazon and it is markers all different types of markers um i'm not really sure too much about it but i think this is a great gift for anybody who does coloring for relaxation who does art but this was something she asked for and it came in this really great case and it was a hundred dollars and i will definitely link this below and i just think this was a fabulous gift for somebody who loves to do art every year i get her canvases i also um buy her paintbrushes and the paintbrushes that she asked for um are the adi 80 um adi pro or art pro brushes and they were really inexpensive they were 15.99 and she will get um quite a few brushes i will link them below she asked for those um i wrote everything down so i can kind of try to remember um i thought that was a great gift for her I did one year buy her a big portfolio bag for her to carry her paintings and her sketches to school with her because she will be trying to apply to different art schools in the, in the fall. Um, I also got her a holder for her pencils, things like that, anything like that for her. So I thought the markers were really great. I think canvases, you can always go to Michael's and they usually have great deals this time of year. You can get 50% off of one full price item, 20% off your whole order. There's such great things at um, Michael's and I have gotten canvases, packs of canvases, so inexpensive on Amazon. I will link them below in case you have somebody who just needs something to do for relaxation right now with everything going on. Painting is definitely something I recommend, but these markers were really on the pricier side. If you're looking to splurge on somebody, I thought they were really great. Now, the next thing I'm gonna move on to is somebody who enjoys reading. Um, my two hobbies in life, I really love, besides my family, animals, and I enjoy reading. It's something that I do, um, I enjoy doing. It relaxes me. I've been reading since I was, my God, very, very, very young maybe eight or nine i've always been interested in reading but my mother also was but i thought this was a great gift this is an led light for your book and i love that it just kind of here let me, it just clips right on i'm sure everyone has seen these but these are great for somebody who likes to read at nighttime or in the car i personally can read in the car i know a lot of people can't they get motion sickness but it doesn't disturb my husband he doesn't even notice it and sometimes you know he goes to bed early because he gets up early for work and I'm not ready to go to bed but I like to sit with him and I really enjoy this this would be great for anybody that maybe works and has to continue working in bed and you just clip it onto your book or for reading I love this and I think it's a great gift and I know they're like under ten dollars and it's great for somebody like if you know somebody reads and you have like a secret Santa I just thought this was a great gift the next thing I got for those readers in your life or even for a teenager who uses the iPads was this pillow pad. Um, I saw this online and most of it was marketed towards like your Kindle or your um, or your Kindle or your iPad but I also thought this would be great to set my book on. Every time I sit down to read my dog likes to sit on my lap so I usually have to prop my book on a pillow and it's kind of awkward but I thought this was great because it kind of has that little shelf for you this would be great for teenagers that have homework to do um and i did see some people setting their books on it i think it's perfect little shelf for my books um and they do have other types online that are specifically for your books but i thought this was great and i believe it was only 20 bucks and i think this would be great to send to um you know maybe your grandmother who likes to read your grandfather anybody who enjoys reading I just think this is a great, great gift. The next gift the next gift I found would be amazing for somebody who loves reading magazines, books, anything, but can't particularly see very well or has trouble seeing was, I'm, I will pop it up on the screen, but maybe I can show you. It is an LED, LED um, magnifying 
book light. So you put it over top of your book, it magnifies the words and it lights it up for you. It is very inexpensive. It was only $20 on Amazon. And I think that would be fantastic for somebody. And it's like a thoughtful gift. You're thinking about them, you know they enjoy reading, but maybe they have a hard time seeing. I think this is a very thoughtful gift. This is like you're thinking of them, you know they enjoy reading, but sometimes they have a hard time seeing. I think this would be fantastic for somebody. And if someone gave it to me knowing I had trouble seeing, you know, I just think it's amazing. And a lot of older people don't know about audiobooks. So I just think that's absolutely fantastic. And I love that it lit up. I also think a book end is a great gift for your bookshelf. They come in every kind of variety. I'm looking on Amazon, they have little birds. Um, they have elephants and I just think it adds a little touch to your bookshelf. Book markers are great gifts. Anything like that I think is just a really great gift for somebody who enjoys reading. Now I'm going to go on to somebody who enjoys maybe being outdoors or fishing. The men or women, I really enjoy fishing. It's my husband's like weekend hobby. Um, I really, he fishes every week and he really enjoys that. It's like a ba major stress relief for him, especially when he was working in New York City last year, when everything was really at its worst. Um, the only thing he could do was like to relax was fishing on the weekends. It was such a high stress environment last year with everything going on and he enjoys fishing. Um, it's kind of difficult buying him things because he has everything you can imagine for fishing, but this year he needed um, I unfortunately wrapped them. He needed boots to keep his feet dry. Um, you can get them off of Dick's, um, Sporting Good, Tackle Direct, any of those websites. And they're a little pricey. They're like $89, but they keep their feet dry, which is the most important thing. They are stinky if you don't dry them out. And that's what happened. He had a pair for years and we had to end up throwing them out because I just couldn't get the odor out. But you can look online. There's different ways to wash them. But I think boots are great for your even if you fish on the beach, anything like that, um, a fishing rod would be great. I got him a fishing rod this year, uh, well, a rod and a reel, um, the whole set. They are very pricey sometimes, but you definitely can find inexpensive ones. Um, they have really neat buckets that you can keep like a lid on that will keep the fish from coming out. Um, I got him a scale one year that he really liked. Um, jackets like the grundin jackets are great investments they will last you forever and they keep them really warm and dry that's always like my concern is him being damp out there and getting sick or anything that can happen so i really like to invest in like maybe one or two really good pieces of clothing for him to be out fishing because they do go offshore pretty far sometimes and if you're not properly dressed, you can always take things off. So I like to make sure he has things like that. And every year we invest in like a new piece for him around Christmas time. Um, I will pop them up on the screen, some of the things that I bought, and I will definitely link some ideas down below. Now for somebody who's like a beach lover, I live maybe 10 minutes from the beach. I'm a big beach person, a lake person. Maybe you wanna just kinda go to the park. Um, I'm pretty sure my husband bought me this. It was a beach wagon. Now I saw these on this particular link anywhere between 85, which was the one I asked for and $106, which I find to be very inexpensive for something like this. Even if you were fishing, you could lug all your stuff. Last year was our saving grace, was able to go sit on the beach and kind of social distance. Um, but it's just so, so heavy to carry your coolers and your chairs. And I was doing two or three trips and the kids were trying to help me, but the stuff can be very heavy. And I said, you know, this year I would really like a beach wagon that I can just throw everything in and kind of just tug along, but you could take this camping. Um, we have, fingers crossed, a vacation coming in this coming August down to Delaware for a fishing tournament my husband's doing. And I thought this was like a great idea. There's gonna be a lot of little kids with us and I could chuck kids in it. I don't, well, I don't know if you could put kids in it, but you might be able to. But like, say you um, go to like a, food market where you buy like um, fresh flowers. They just kind of show you that. You could put your flowers in this. This would be great for somebody who's maybe handicapped and needs something to pull their groceries to their home. I just think it's a multi-purpose wagon and I really loved it. And that was like my number one on my Christmas list. Um, umbrellas are great, inexpensive. You can get like one for 20 bucks on Amazon for the beach um, to make sure you're protected, especially if you have little kids. I know the tents are a little more expensive, but they're great to have. Beach chairs are always great. I found an amazing deal at Big Lots last year. They were $14.95 for the um, beach chairs. 
coolers are great i just recently bought my husband um a cooler nothing you can find them inexpensive you don't have to get a yeti cooler but coolers are great gifts for your fisherman or your beach goer in your life so i think that kind of covers anybody who likes to fish or be on the beach or outdoors or even camping all these could work for camping um anything like that it's great for what do you need honey you were just outside come sit with mama okay can you just give me a few minutes of cave i know it's hard for you can you just wait one minute thank you now the next thing i'm going to cover is anybody who really likes to do your makeup obviously i really enjoy makeup and i really needed a let's turn this around a new mirror i thought this was great i got this for 17 dollars on amazon i know bed bath and beyond you can really get up there in prices i thought this was a great um price i only paid 17 dollars for it and I know you're probably wondering why did I buy a lot of my stuff, but my husband and I were just concerned that we weren't gonna be able to get Christmas things. So he and I just sat down and picked out a few things. And I just wanted to share this with you. I liked that it folded out. I'm not sure if it's magnified. Oh, yep, it is. So I guess the sides are magnified and then the middle is just normal. And I just thought this was a great gift for someone who enjoys makeup. God, I did get this end up, I did end up getting this for my daughter for storage, but you could use it for makeup. You could use it for, pretty much anything and it's called the Winsome Halifax Storage. It is a seven drawer storage. You're probably not gonna be able to see it. Um, I will link it or I'll put a picture of it up on top. It's really, really nice. It was a little pricey and it only came in the one color. It was $99 on Amazon, but it's a seven drawer. It looked really good. I did buy it for, it came in a really nice box. It looks great on the actual um, outside. And I just think that would be great. Even if like I bought that for my sister, she could put it in a bathroom. It's not huge and it just seems like it's gonna be really good quality. The reviews were great on it and I'm excited. You could use this in a bathroom. You could use it maybe as like an underwear drawer. Um, I think my sister, I think my daughter's gonna use it for her school supplies, um, but you could definitely do it for makeup, for tackle, anything you needed. I think that's great. Sticking sort of with like your teeny kids. I saw this my daughter asked for it, but I've seen it everywhere These starry projector lights now. I was Shocked kind of how expensive these can be some of them, but they are really really cool Um, this isn't really professional. This is sort of me kind of scatterbrained just showing you I'm like two steps ahead because there's so many things I would love to share with you guys that I've had ideas about shoes books everything but these are like the main things that I wanted to show people. Now this is expensive. I can't believe I paid this price. It's $43.99, but I guess for like a really special kid in your life, your daughter, your son, um, a teenager, it really is amazing. And you know, when they're kind of wound up from school, not being able to get out of the house right now, you just kind of pop this on and set like an ambient light and it kind of relaxes them. So I thought that was a really, really fun gift. And that would be great for anyone, adults even. Now my brother-in-law's, um, this is for somebody who like, maybe you like to buy a bottle of wine for somebody or the people enjoy drinking. My brother-in-law enjoys, his family enjoy drinking. And I saw this last year and I thought this was a really neat idea. And it was, I'll just pop it on the screen. It's so hard to see. They are round ice cube molds and they fit perfectly like in a scotch glass or whatever they're called. And I just think they're really fun for somebody who enjoys drinking. You could buy a bottle of wine or like a nice, um, my grandfather likes scotch, so we've gotten him nice bottles of scotch every year. My grandfather, the poor guy, was born the day before Christmas, so he's always kind of gypped, I feel. But every year I say to him, what do you want for Christmas? And I end up buying him always beer and nuts and pretzels, and he just enjoys food. And I think that's a great gift, too. He, he loves kielbasa, so I'll go to like a local market and get him a cut of kielbasa. Um, he really loves smoked salamis, anything like that. Even those kits where they come with like the mustards and the crackers, he really loves those types of things. So they're amazing gifts. Boxes of chocolate are amazing gifts for like aunts and uncles that you don't see all the time. Um, lottery tickets are great. Um, my one aunt will give us a scratch off, even like the $5 scratch offs or the dollar scratch offs. Um, if you have 20 people, that's 20 bucks and each get a dollar scratch off. I think they're great gifts for people like extended family that you don't see as often. Um, anything like that is really great gifts. Gift certificates to restaurants. That's what we're gonna give a friend of ours and his wife. You know, you give them a, 
a night out they have a lot of children so you give them a gift certificate to go out to eat and that's amazing like that's a date night for them all kinds of ideas i have so many things um more for like your girly girl i found not necessarily girly girl but like women in your life um on lulu's i will i will link a few they have the most beautiful and expensive mules um like the little shoes they're like my, my favorite shoe right now is mules and i found them as low as 11 dollars on there um and it's very i mean they're up there in price some of them but i found some very inexpensive under 20 dollars really find inexpensive things online and i love that amazon gives you the option to just kind of send it as a gift to somebody else um a crock pot is an amazing gift for somebody there's just so many things in my head that i'm like what i've been given as great gifts or what i've given as great gifts so these are basically you know the most important things that i wanted to show especially the containers i love and the little starry night thing i wanted to show this we found this at it's a santa hat well not a santa hat but like a christmas hat and it was a shark because my husband and my daughter love fishing and it was only five dollars at target these are even fun little gifts you could give somebody um, a kid that you love five bucks for that. They're expensive sometimes Santa hats. I thought that was a great gift Oh, I really asked for a lot of books this year. That was the bulk of my um, Christmas list were books that I asked for I can link all of them down below if you just want to kind of browse and see what books that I asked for Oh, I got my sister. I might have mentioned it a dish rack for when she's drying dishes I think that's a great gift perfume is a nice gift for somebody that maybe you're closer to that you don't mind spending a little extra money on. So far, this is everything. Just bring a little joy to anybody's life, a stranger, anybody. I try to be really compassionate towards other people because I don't know what anyone's going through. And I know a lot of people have lost their jobs and I'm very fortunate that my husband and I both still have ours. I work part time. Um, he obviously works full time, but he goes up to the city and it was very rough last year for him he saw a lot of horrendous things and I just couldn't even imagine being in the thick of it or experiencing it and I just feel very sorry for anybody that's having a tough time and I just hope maybe this can bring a little Christmas cheer for anybody I will again link anything that I've kind of mentioned down below any questions leave them down below um, I hope that covers quite a bit. So I'm gonna wrap this up. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. I really hope you subscribe. I hope to get some more videos out for you guys this year. And if you have anything special that you got someone this year, I would love to hear what it is. If you have any ideas of even some inexpensive or expensive gifts, whatever you decide, leave them down below too. I'd love to just hear what you're getting people you love. So if you have any questions, like I said, leave them down below and I will see you next time, guys. Bye.